Welcome back, folks. This is lesson 990. And uh, I've put the colours up there for you. Uh, the Windsor Blue Red Shade, which is a lovely blue. Uh, it's an English scene, this, so I put uh, that as a sky colour because the umber, the ultramarine is a bit, is a bit uh, European colour, like, uh, a bit Caribbean and stuff like that. Anyway, that's the blue one. Burnt umber, uh, raw sienna. Okay? That's the three colours we're going to start. We're going to tip in little bits and pieces on the way, but, but that, that, that'll do to start us off. Now, the picture we're going to do today is... It's a lighthouse. It's it's a, 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 a room where well, when I used to live in the northeast. This is St Mary's Lighthouse, and this is Whitley Bay, a place called Whitley Bay, a spot from the Spanish city, which is there, lovely as well. But the this this is the, the lighthouse. It's on an island, and it's it, it's it's tidal. It comes in the tide around here, and and it's it's a few collection of buildings, blah blah blah, and and a, and a lighthouse, simple as that. And I thought we'd have a nice blue sky today, something not threatening, just a blue sky. And this is rocks around here and a bit of sea at the foreground here, which you might get a reflection from that. So that's our, that's our, our picture to start with. Let, let, let's go from there, shall we? I'm going to use my, my normal brushes today. I'm giving the mops a rest. And uh, let, let, let's, let's put the, the normal a normal brush of I'm used to. The, these are the Scepter Gold, Winter Winter and Scepter Gold, they're, they're nice brushes. And I want to sort of create sort of a, an angle sky on this, like a, a no, no, no bad weather, just a, a lo lovely, lovely type of sky. I'm going to wet it in places uh, like this. It's a, a, a decided decided where we to put it. We'll see how it goes. It might it might not work, but we'll see. Well, that's that's clean water. Now the colour I'm going to add to that now is our winter blue red shade. It's a lovely blue. I put some uh, masking uh, fluid on this just to protect the towel because the towel is white. I thought, well, it's no good. It's not going to be that good if it's, it'll kill it up, won't it? Try and protect the houses there just a little bit. So here we go. Come down here. I'll have a bit more water on that. Down here. Up here, which is too dry. It's not got the effect I wanted. But we're getting there. We are getting there, folks. So there's a, a bit of a blue sky there. A bit more strength in that one. We go towards the horizon. A bit dry there. Let's wet that a slight little bit there.
It's not a dry sky, I want to just create a, a proper smooth, a smooth effect to it. That'll do. That'll do. Right, I better let that dry a bit first. That's the first one. Let's just a touch in there like that. I could do actually a bit of a bit of blue around that, that top of that that tower there. It's there. dark in that corner. I take the brush off me, I'm fiddling this uh, on the foreground just to sort of uh, give, me, give me a base colour. But When it's low tide, there's the road we can walk out to this, but uh, but now it's just it's just nearly low, low tide because there's some water in the front here, which I forgot to put in when I did this guy, but I'm going to put it in now as soon as I've done this. Let's get this in first. Well, I get worse at forgetting things. I'm hopeless. But not to worry, we'll do it next. This is the, uh, the foreground. Because you had a lot of green. I think the last two are very green. I do like this Windsor Blue Red shade. It's a lovely rich blue it is. The light down, see the oh, it's just it's too low down. Get on flicks of water across it. Look, balmy if I just do a lump like that. That'll do. That'll do. In fact, I might darken this a bit more as, as I come forward, but we, we'll see. I want to concentrate on, on some of this, this rock formation here now. Uh, that's the burnt umber. The old favourite of mine, burnt umber. Get some uh, suggestions of rocks on here, a dark period just here, a band of rock, so don't, don't get too uh, bogged down with this, it's, uh, I don't want sculpturing. Break up some of this colour. A few rocks. Get 
quite rocky this place. And let's make it a bit uh, a bit darker on that where it meets the water. I'm going to make some Winterville Red Shade in with it. I should darken that rock down here. And then we'll have a dark, a real dark just here. With a smaller brush. Top there. See, basically, we're using just two colours, aren't we? Up to now. Or three, we use the, the Sienna to, to flat it out with. And then we're introducing this, uh, this dark brown, the, the burnt umber, with the Winterville Red Shade to give us some. Some sculpturing of the rocks. The light's coming from the right hand side today folks. So if you're doing some sculpturing it's going to go on that side isn't it? Of course the rocks in the foreground will be stronger in value won't they? Because they're closer to us. Let's pop these rocks in. I don't want really to get bogged down and do every, every, every crab in under the rocks and things like that. It's just, it's just suggesting the, the rock formation. Trying to depict uh, rough ground. But th this, this area, Whitley Bay and that, and, uh, and, and Tynemouth, a lovely place, isn't it? and lovely people up there. And uh, I've, I've, the Grand Hotel there on on the on the front at Time of there, I've interviewed in there, and uh, and right across the road from there is a pub called the Gibraltar Rock, if I remember rightly, the Jib. And uh, I've been in there. That's a lovely pub as well. I've had some happy times in in to my ten years in the northeast. Met some lovely people. Met some good friends. Made friends at. Ooh, some of them are still, are still alive, but uh, but we still contact them now. So so I mean that that was nineteen sixty four when we went up there. So it's 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 not yesterday. Lovely people. Had some riotous times up there. We used to go out on, I remember we first went up the, out on a night out and uh, I thought I've got to be careful here because I'm, I'm, I'm in charge and uh, I'm, I'm new to the place so I better join in. And they introduced me to a, a drink called Newcastle Brown Ale. Well, I had four of these. And uh, one of the one of the lads advised me to, to slow down a bit. So, so I said, all right, I'll. and I went under another drink called Exhibition. Well, that's another company's opposition to Newcastle Brown. Believe me, I was absolutely legless. Absolutely, out of the out of my tree, I was. So it's one of the nights you you don't forget. Not in a hurry anyway, it's, it's, been, it's, it's probably about 60 years ago, but uh, wow. Darks, darks, darks underneath. I'm, 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 I'm talking because it's, it's, it's boring this bit. Right, next job, let's get this macking fluid off. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do first, before I take that off, I'll, I'll, I'll do these, uh, these, these little roots, that'll, that'll save me a job. And I think these roots, I want to do them um, uh, burnt sienna. And I said a colour called burnt sienna. It's, it's, it's like a pantal colour, which is quite nice. 
dass dies, dies hier I'm more comfortable with my, with my, my own brushes by the way it's, I, I like those uh, mops they're, they're good for a, a nice loose painting I just have to use them again but uh, but not every time I'd love to experiment And this top is, is, is that colour as well. And that side is, is the same is the same colour if you like. But because the, t the light's coming from the right, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to make it a weaker, as so it's sunlit. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So it'll be coloured, but uh, but lighter. Just an indication of of colour, but it's just it's capturing some of that light. That'll do. Right, dry that and get the well, so there's some some green round here as well. This is green, by the way, folks. This is like like a, a, somebody put a bit of a lawn on it. I don't know why, but but I make a bit of green, a bit of cadmium yellow, just a touch, because it's a lot of paint. Cadmium yellow and a touch of that winter blue red shade we've got. And this piece here. It's grass, as they say in the south, grass. Took it down there. And that's as much grass as I think there is on there. But I think there might have been a few bushes in front of there, but, but, but so I'll see how we go along. Give it a coat of water on there. Put a just a gentle suggestion. It's got to be weak. This is going to be weak. Uh, blue, the same blue down this side. Because that is the shadow side, isn't it? So it's, it's not going to be so white. It's going to be, it's going to be shadowy down that side. So we can get a touch more on there. Plus the fact it's not, it's not new either. So I'll take the B and Q look up it. I think there's a couple of windows in this here, so I better put I'll leave a just a middle spot for some windows. That's dark up there. Still got a bit of stuff on top of there. Right, I think what we'd better do now is uh, I'll let that dry for a bit. Trying to make it look circular. So I'm going to put some line down this one here. I'll do. And this. Uh, these these buildings here on the on the right here, the, the right side of this. In fact, I'll 
do that as well. These are in shade and this, this face here is in shade. building um, just at the back of the uh, the lighthouse there which is, is white but it, it's it's in shade so I'm going to put some indication of shadow on that one because it's behind the mill it's a weakened weakened show it, it it is white I don't want to do it all that's just saying right. She's caught the edge of that with a with a. That's in full sun. Let's put some uh, some stuff on that. The lighthouse. It's a lot of these little cottages now, that's the side of it, we'll, we'll, we'll put something on them. That's on this face here. I usually use uh, ultramarine for, for this, for shadows and things like that, but I think with a painting like this, the, 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 the whole theme is, is Windsor Blue, red shade. So I'm sticking the shadows with that as well because it's it, it it'll look silly if I do it the other way. This this just here has got a shadow just there. And there's a bit of a shadowy thing down here as well. I don't know what it is. It comes across here. In shade, anyway, whatever it is. Right, so look at that. That's that building there, that building there. We can do some twiddle now on this, I think. That top one's doing first, isn't it? Let's just do that top. Put a dark under that uh, where the eaves of this building is. I don't like twiddle, but it's, it's got to be done. Let's let one or two windows in. Some windows in these as well. It's all tiny stuff, this folks. Right, 
there's a panel a panel down there somewhere. That's caught the top of that. But also, when, when, when I do this uh, reflection here, put some water on that and slip a bit of that colour in there, which mirrors the the colour on the mill on the mill. Um, the bl I've done that many blooming mills. It's uh, it's a it's a lighthouse on this lighthouse. So you'll catch a touch of the 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 top on there. What else I need? That, that, that building behind it, it's looking miserable. So I'm going to restate this building. It's, it's it's not very not very nice. This brush I'm using is a number two, by the way, if anybody's interested. A number two. And I've had to come down to this for all this fiddly stuff. Let's soften that. I think we need some chimneys now. Use that raw sienna, that'll do. And put some I don't know whether coal fired these or what or the there's a lot of coal mined in the northeast. But if you go if you go to the northeast do go into Whitley Bay and all that. It's, it's, it used to have something called the Spanish City. That used to be a real entertainment place and uh, a den of iniquity when I was there. There's one or two chimneys on there. That keeps the locals happy. Put your pan towel on that. You don't realise how much time you spend doing twiddle. It takes ages and it's got to be done. It's got to be done, folks. It's got to be done. Now there's, a, there's a, a, a wall down here, which I think I ought to put in. It comes down here like this. in there. I like a twiddle thing there, I don't know what it is. And that looks a bit too too flat that so I think I'll I'll, I'll, I'll down this bit here a bit and leave that white coming from that side there. So I'm, I'm making this up as I go along folks, so do bear with me. It upsets people that's, uh, that's learning, but not too worry, they've got to do it sometime. 
a nice red person again to this here, this white would be nice, wouldn't it? So it's not going to be very big. I'll put another red one here. And perhaps the one on the rocks here, how's that? Put a blue one on now, talking to him. There, I'll look at them, the pair of them. Talking about the price of fish. Top for his head. Putting some legs on. That's three, we'll have some more around here. One there. Put some trousers on this bloke. Okay. Head on. About a bright yellow, that'd be nice. Some lady at home. Put Mabel in, she likes a trip. Where's Mabel? I'll put away Fred just here. There she is. Somebody talking to this bloke here. Somebody up the step where stairway here, let's still on the top here. So there are, they are tiny folks, they're not to finish this bloke up here, talking to his mate here. Actually, have somebody with a white shirt on, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I know the time's passing, but I'll, I'll cut a lot of this out. It's just I, I get I get busy talking and uh, I lose the plot. I wish we have some, somebody white just here. on this woman there one across here in white that'd be nice a bit bigger because she's closer to us the man in the white suit that one remember that one Alec Guinness crikey and uh, oh well I've been a Red suit as well. He's talking to the woman in red. I think they're discussing the the crabs in the in the the end. They're very close there, so I don't know what they're talking about. I took a name for a head for her. I think she's got a head. So that's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I don't have an even number, so we're gonna have another one. Where are we gonna put him? I don't like this green yet. Before I get bogged down, I'll just sort that green out of it because it's it's a miserable green. I need something better. That's better. 
plaster it better. Put a bit of colour into the, into the base of it, which is there. Uh, I'm not sure about this bloke in the white suit. Oh, he's alright though, he's, he'll be alright. That's two, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's one here in this white here, I'll, I'll, I'll do something with him. White. So I'll put him some black trousers on. This bloke here. There he is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's, that's a bit dark, I can't make out which one that one. And it's a coastal scene, so we had to put a gull in, didn't we? Just to, just to finish it off. Let's put a gull in. That looks like a spot for a gull there, look. Don't forget gulls are M's flattened and grows V's. There we are, so that's, uh, if, if, if I do any more, I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling, so. Uh, well, that's all for today, folks. That's uh, that's our, our St. Mary's Lighthouse in, in Whitley Bay in, uh, in Newcastle. Uh, well, it's Northumberland now, probably. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a change. And until next time, folks, do give us a subscribe, won't you? We've got 500 now, and I want people to subscribe. So tell your friends and that. Subscribe. It doesn't cost them anything. And then uh, I'll see you on, on uh, Lesson 91. So until then, folks, it's bye-bye. Bye-bye.